Welcome to Open eCry's Trader Training. My name is Toby Gennaro from Trader Precision. What I'll be talking about today is the importance of having your layout predefined within your platform. So what I'll be looking at here is the OEC Trader platform, and then I'll show you how to get access to the types and styles of charts that we're using in all of the webinars, the advanced courses, uh, the market commentaries, and even a lot of the, uh, the educational videos, and show you how to get uh, those exact same charts on your screen within the OEC Trader platform. So what I'm looking at right here on my screen is just the basic uh, OEC Trader uh, default platform or screen layout, if you will. And so the only thing we want to do is just go up here and click on View, and then go to Layout, and then uh, we'll come down here and we'll do Import. And so prior to having this, to doing this, you already have to have uh, gone to the OEC website and downloaded this uh, this layout which we're uh, which will be providing and it will be available to you so once you find this and you have it on your system on your computer you'll be able just to open that and it'll say you know TWP layout has been successfully imported and you're ready to go the next thing we do is just come back to view go to layout again and all of a sudden we have TWP layout within our list of of layouts here so we just need to click on that and then that will go ahead it'll reformat our entire uh, uh, screen area and this will take a little bit, but you're going to get a number of time frames. You'll have a, uh, a list of quotes and uh, you know symbols of different markets, and uh, so all of these will be linked together. So as you go ahead and change through the different symbols, um, it will be reflected on all the different time frames. Now, when it first opens up, everything's going to look a little jammed up here, but all we have to do is just uh, stretch this out over. I'm using actually three screens to trade from, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just using two screens to give you an example of how this looks. But what I have is basically five time frames up here, everything from the daily, the four hour, the two hour, the one hour, down to the 15 minute chart. So if you're a swing trader, uh, you probably want to uh, maybe add a weekly chart in here, maybe you want to add a, uh, an eight hour chart in here, um, and then you're gonna have everything set up for swing trading. If you're an intraday trader, then you might want to get everything from the one hour on down, including like a five minute, you know, a two minute and a one minute chart and then you'll have everything set up for intraday trading. But as you can see, we have some standards set up for the chart. We have a TWP chart template, and I have a TWP pivots chart template. Okay, so you can apply these in either case. And so the way you do that is you simply right click on the, on the screen, and then you can come over here and you can click on either the TWP chart or the TWP pivot. So if I click on the TWP chart, it just goes through and reformats this whole chart back to what everything else is here. And if I want to get it back to the, uh, the pivots, then I just simply go back and do the same thing, and it converts it right back to where we were. So a very easy way to work with templates, and it will always tell you up at the top up here in the title bar what, what chart format you're in. So whenever you create a new chart, it's easy. Just right-click and select TWP charts or TWP pivots, and you automatically have the same chart. Uh, one of the things that we, uh, the reason we do that is because we have all of our indicators on here. So we have our moving averages, the four that we're using in all of the uh, educational webinars. We have in green the 200 period moving average. In red we have the 50 period, the 20 period in blue, and then in gray or black we have the 10 period. And then down below we have our other two indicators, the MACD and the RSI, and we're using these to identify indicator convergence or indicator divergence to help us out with the trading strategies that we're teaching in the advanced educational courses. So that is kind of the layout and then uh, along here we have our quote manager screen which are all the different markets that we're interested in trading. So I just have some of the majors up here. You're going to have to understand and know the correct uh, ticker symbol. So as this uh, video gets aged, uh, these ticker symbols are um, they are not going to be correct because they're contract specific. So you'll have to go through and then use these buttons here to roll forward to the correct contract so that you get data in the, in the screens. But being that these are all linked together, you can just go through the nice thing. If you do create um, some more charts of your own, make sure that when you do create a new chart, you click on link to quotes so that when you go over and you click on a new contract, you can see how that's reflected and all the charts change based on that link to the uh, to the quotes manager. Okay, so really handy thing there when uh, when you're scanning through all of your markets, uh, very easy to move through this and then be able to see all of your uh, time frames side by side 
and then going ahead and looking for those uh, two time frames that are in agreement to uh, to identify our chart setup. So that's really the uh, the scenario for uh, for getting the TWP layout on OEC Trader, and uh, we'll put a link up that will give you the uh, the correct link on the website to download that TWP layout format so that you can follow this video and get everything set up on your screens. So if you are interested in learning more about trading strategies, go ahead and check out the Opening Cry website under education and look for other trading videos and webinars, or you can call customer service for more information and educational events. So thanks for watching Opening Cry's trading education.